everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl cheryl if you're new welcome to the c squad over here we cover all things transfer student and living your best life as an international student in the uk so if you like the sound of that then hit the subscribe button below follow me on instagram and join the fam and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for joining me again guys i apologize for the echo if you guys watched my life update video, definitely be sure to check it out if you haven't watched it. But basically, today I'm going back to the UK. Ah, my flight is this evening at 11 p.m. and I wanted to film a little empty house tour for you guys. So basically, if you didn't watch the life update, we are packing up our house and shipping that stuff to a different house and so this house is probably gonna have like new tenants fingers crossed hopefully um but yeah so pretty much most of everything is gone but downstairs guys is a mess which is unfortunate because i had a really cool idea for my whole empty house tour but it's fine i'm gonna show you guys the rooms that i can show you um and we are starting off here guys in my room which you can't even tell is my room because i don't have any furniture in here um but yeah i guess i would just show you guys what my room is like so basically here is where my bed used to be and then i have this nice little headboard i'm sure if you guys watched my winter nighttime routine you guys would have seen me i was sitting on my bed and i had um, my nice little headboard, so I am keeping that that is being shipped um, And then over here I had my desk and this is where I filmed the videos for you guys um, So that's literally where I've been sitting the entire time And so I guess now I'm actually just gonna have to flip the camera So for some of these bits you'll see me talking and for other bits You'll just hear me behind the camera kind of explaining stuff. So here is my sliding door for my balcony. Unfortunately for me, I never had any windows. So I just had the sliding door and that's how I got out. This thing never wants to open, it's fine. So here are my curtains. I got them, well, I guess custom made, I guess, I don't know. I picked out like the pattern and stuff for it. So these are literally... Oh, like my favorite curtains. Like, I love them so much. They're purple. My whole room is purple. And then over here, we have where my TV used to be. I had an LG TV over here, which you guys saw in my winter nighttime routine. Then here is my air conditioner, which is really great because it gets so hot here. Then over here, we have my pride and joy, my closet, guys. Okay, this is, this is, this is big stuff. So... Here I have all of these compartments. Here I have this whole compartment. Please don't mind my stuff. Today's today's a mess, but yeah, I have all of this space. Then I have all of these drawers here. There's one, they all look the same. And then here I have another one here. And I used to keep some of my shoes here, just like extra stuff. And then here's where most of my clothes went. So guys, this is what I mean when I complain about wardrobe space at uni. Imagine how much wardrobe space I actually have. Like this is massive. My mom is so jealous of me because I have the most closet space out of anyone in the family. Obviously her and my dad have to share their closet so Basically, her closet is smaller than mine. Her section of the closet is smaller than mine. So, taking all of my clothes <laughs> out of these drawers and putting them in the UK, guys, it was, it was tough. It was tough. So, yeah, that's pretty much that situation. And then, over here, we have the door to my aunt's suite, which I'm going to show you guys just now. Okay, so here's my bathroom. Standard toilet. we got windows. We've got my shower, guys. I might be biased, but I think this is the best shower in the house. I love this shower. I love it. It's beautiful. Then here we have my wash basin. And here we have me, dolls. Um, and so I have this like whole shelf and stuff. This one is actually, we had to get it fitted. It didn't actually come with the house. So that was one of the things that was new about this. So you have just this spot where i hang out my stuff um so yeah now i think we should head to 
what my mom likes to call the pajama lounge. I don't know, I think it's a British term that she picked up years ago, but um, basically it's like the, the upstairs living room. So now that I'm standing here in this emptiness, I am realizing how huge this space actually is. So basically over here we had an L-shaped couch. I believe that one is also being shipped. Um, and so, actually, let me explain. <laughs> Basically, my brother, if you don't know, my brother's a YouTuber, so I will link his channel down below. It's Aiden GT. He plays video games and stuff. So, basically, this room was low key my brother's game room. <laughs> that was like literally it. Uh, I never really like sat and watched TV here. Probably did like a few times, but like, that no, was really um, where he played games and where sometimes I played games if I joined in. So here was the L-shaped couch, and then over there in this little corner, over there, um, we just had like a small little coffee table. At some point during lockdown, I was doing a, a puzzle, a thousand piece puzzle, and so I would do it over there. And then we also had um, beanbag chairs, which were super cute. So we had beanbag chairs just in this room, just for anyone to sit and chill. Then over here we had two bookshelves and then over here was the TV. I actually have no idea what TV was here. I clearly don't. I don't watch TV here. I have no idea which TV it was. But yeah, there was a TV here and then this whole space there was um, there was like a shelving unit where my brother put all his video games, all his nunchucks and controllers or whatever and he put all of that stuff there so yeah that was pretty much this whole space so since we're talking about mr aiden gt himself let's go and check out his room so this is my brother's room we fought heavily um over this room this is where i spent the first few days of lockdown. This dude literally had his own room, but when I left to go to the UK, he was like, no, I'm gonna go into Cheryl's room or whatever. So I literally had to fight for my room back, so I'm very grateful that for the last six months, I have been able to savor every moment in my room. But yeah, so he has the same situation with those curtains, they're blue. Um, I cannot remember the name of the place where he got the curtains done or whatever, but I think my mom picked those pattern out because my brother's not really into curtains and stuff. Okay, then over here was Mr. Aiden's bed, and he had two end tables on either side. Over here, he had a bookshelf, but I don't know why, because the man doesn't read. <laughs> Please don't tell him I said that. Okay, and then <laughs> here is his closet, which is also actually very nice and spacious. Um, so we've got all of these shelves here. Then here's where he hung up his clothes, and then my mom got both of us these um, shoe rack things. So, yeah, that's grand. Then he had his last space over here. And then behind me, we have Aiden's ensuite, which I don't think is as nice as mine. <laughs> now I'm like, okay, so basically, what I noticed, if you notice in my ensuite, I didn't have a bathtub. So I feel like the space that it would have taken to get a bathtub was made up in my room because I had more room space than bathroom space. Whereas here, my brother has a shower and a tub. So his room is a little bit smaller than mine. Just, yeah, his room is just a little bit smaller than mine to make up for the fact that he has a bathtub in there. So yeah. Okay, so here's the bathroom. Here's this nice wash basin. There's me. So this is the same one. I never noticed this was black. Guys. You know guys, I filmed my clubbing get ready with me video. My going out clubbing makeup routine. I don't know what it's called. That video. I actually filmed it in here because this is where I had I had to stay in my brother's room during the December holidays because he hijacked mine. So I actually don't remember this thing being black. Because mine is white. Okay. So here is... It's just like literally the same 
thing as mine then here he has a shower which to be honest with you i'm not the biggest fan of i never liked showering in here if you see we have different shower heads mine is more like a waterfall his is like hailstones yeah I think that's the best way to describe it. Then here we have his bathtub, which I did borrow on occasion or use on occasion or whatever. So yeah, it's pretty nice. And then we have the toilet, standard, and some windows. Okay, and now we're going to make our way <laughs> to um, this room, which is the guest room. So here's the guest room. As I'm sure you saw, it is tiny. Um, my aunt, what did she call this room? She said this room was an afterthought. <laughs> she did not like staying in this room whenever she visited. Uh, so yeah, that was always very interesting. So literally, here is the bed. Um, there were no end tables in here or anything. Like, it was actually, I think she had a point. I think it was the afterthought. Um, and here it has these curtains. Um, they're like gray and stuff. I think I'll show you guys a close-up um, But basically these curtains if I'm not mistaken were at our old house So we moved into this house in 2017 April of 2017 or end of March of 2017 and Yeah, so before then we were staying in Windy Wood So if I'm not mistaken, I think these curtains are actually from Windy Wood and put in this house I could be wrong though so here's our closet space, like it has the smallest closet in the house <laughs> but obviously it's just for guests so they don't need to have a huge situation so yeah that's there and then that's there so yeah now we're making our way downtown to the master bedroom making my way downtown please don't copyright me youtube thank you so I feel like we should just start in the master bathroom because literally right as you walk in, like I came through this door and this is the first door in this room. So I'm going to show you the master ba bathroom. So standard stuff, we have the toilet, but this one, but this bathroom has a bidet which is interesting. Um, that was one of the things I found interesting when we first came to view this house. And then further off into the bathroom, we have my mom's shower, which once again, I do not like. Guys, the shower head is the worst. It's, I think it's worse than Aiden's room. So Aiden's is a stone. I don't know what this is. It's actually, I don't know. Have you ever been pelted by rocks? That's what the shower is like. I genuinely do not like it. Here are the lights, which I've always found interesting. And yeah, here's pretty much the shower. It is a huge shower, I'll give you that much. It is massive, but they need to change that shower head. <laughs> then here we have the bathtub, guys. This is the place to take relaxing baths. Like Aiden's is nice, but this one's so comfortable. Um, you guys would have definitely seen me use it in my winter nighttime routine because I don't have a bathroom, so I have to borrow everyone else's and yeah. So that's pretty much the vibe. Then over here, we have his and hers wash basins, I suppose. And, and we have um, their like shelving stuff here, which is also, Pretty stand. I don't even know how to open these. That's how you know they're not in mine. Um, so yeah, so that's the situation, and it's the same one for that one. So that is the master bathroom. I'm mad, you guys. I just realized I was talking to myself. I didn't press record after I showed you guys the closet. I was already showing you guys the balcony. I'm so mad at myself, but it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna reshow you. The master room. So over here is where my parents' bed was, and then there was an end table here and another one here. Over here we have an AC. I did mention that. I don't know if I showed you guys Aiden's AC, but there is an AC in his room. The only room that's, well, the only bedroom that doesn't have one is the guest room. And then over here we have some nice windows. Da -da -da -da. We have the same curtains that are in the guest room. Um, over here we have the sliding door for the balcony. 
And then here I was explaining to you guys, so basically in my parents' room, as you can see over here, they have a sliding door, so they can't fit a TV anywhere here, like what they did in my room where they just put it on the wall and stuff. So what they ended up having to do is someone came and fitted this thing, which is pretty cool because you can move it around and all that stuff. So yeah, so you can watch TV from the bed. Um, and so yeah, let me get to show you guys the balcony. Sorry about the lighting guys, there's a lot of sun today, but basically this is the balcony area. So the balcony is accessible um, from my room, the guest room, and the master bedroom. So unfortunately my brother never had access to the balcony unless he came through one of our rooms. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, if you do not, you should follow me at Cheryl underscore Moyer. I've done tons of photos in this house over the last couple of months um so i did take a few shots in my balcony i have some downstairs i have some in my room so hopefully this got this shows you guys um where i was like getting my photos done and everything so yeah this is the balcony it's a pretty chillaxed vibe um so i guess we're heading downstairs now okay so i think this is the last room i'm going to be showing you guys because everything else is a mess <laughs> so here's the living room um you have three couches here so there's one couch that was this side and then there was another one that was in the middle and then there was one on the right over here was the tv and we had like a little shelf here with the decoders and all that jazz um and then here we have these curtains that I believe came with the house. Well, not came with the house, but I think we bought them from the owners. Um, so yeah. Okay, now we are outside. Guys, I've taken so many photos. I did a photo over there um, a few months ago. I've taken photos over here. Like I've literally, I've exhausted this entire house. Uh, here's the pool. We actually got it repainted. So it was drained, repainted. It was grand stuff. Here we have um, the bra stand, which I showed in my brother's, what, uh, birthday and lockdown video. Um, so usually there we have like the, the fountain going and it's nice vibes, it's vibes, vibes. Um, okay. <laughs> and then, here we just have like security stuff and I wonder if this is open. This is like our, our outside guest room. That's nah, locked. Sorry guys, it's locked. Um, <laughs> but basically in here, it's just like, it's literally like a room with a bathroom. That's literally it. It's like the same thing as a guest room. I think it even has the same amount of closets. I'll just show you guys through the garden a little bit. So yeah, it is quite nice here. Um, it's a nice vibe. There's construction going on there um and then over there that's the that's the door to the kitchen okay guys here is the scullery um the kitchen is a mess so i'm not gonna show you guys this um but this is just where the dishes are done here is where food used to be kept uh but now it's empty so yeah there's a sink that we do the dishes and there's just so many cupboards here guys they were just there's always a lot here. So guys, I think that's the end of my empty house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the C-Squad and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I post every Wednesday and Sunday at 5 p.m. London time. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.